are you? Welcome to today's video. Today is finally a clean and decorate with me for fall. You guys, I've been wanting to do a clean and decorate with me for quite some time and finally fall is here. <laughs> um, I don't usually do too much for fall. I usually go really hard for Christmas. <laughs> um, but during this process, <laughs> I ended up um, gaining two new friends. <laughs> I ended up dislo whoop, dislocating, still learning how to use these, um, dislocating and breaking one of my piggies. Um, it was like, you know how your piggies are like this? Well, mine was like that after I broke it <laughs> and dislocated it. Um, yeah, that was fun. Anyways, I'll tell you guys more about that, but <laughs> without further ado, you guys, let's get started. I Okay, so starting this off, we are just tidying up the place. This isn't gonna be like a vigorous clean by any means. It's just clean up the place, tidy it up, wipe everything down so that when we go to decorate, it's already clean and we don't have to worry about it. And then it's just maintaining. Um, I know you guys are probably wondering what the heck I did to my toe. And I will, towards the end of the video, I do show you some pictures and I, I will let you guys know what happened. Um, there's even some clips from my Instagram that I took, so. I hope you guys enjoy, <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to start off by cleaning and tidying everything up. Whether I like it or not, <laughs> I have to vacuum the floors with Oreo's hair and the crumbs from the kids. It needs to be done. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna head on over to the kitchen and we're gonna start doing some dishes. What is it that you do? I am curious, have you already decorated for fall? Where I live in Canada, we are currently going through a heat wave, so it's definitely not fall-like weather at all. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely soaking in all the sun rays because before you know it, that negative 50 degrees Celsius weather is gonna be hitting us and we're all gonna be going into hibernation again. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, I do enjoy decorating but fall isn't my first choice. I definitely love decorating for Christmas. Christmas is my jam. <laughs> so have you guys already decorated? If not, what do you guys like to decorate for? You guys, Maya, she is my little escape artist. Where there is a will, there is a way. And this girl has got all the will. <laughs> um, she has managed to find her way out of this high chair. So we are going to take it off now. Um, her time with it is done. <laughs> and we are gonna put in the booster seat for this chair now. So we're just gonna get rid of this and we're gonna carry on. i 
Finishing up cleaning and bringing out the decor now. This is all stuff that I've just accumulated over the years and it's not really a lot of stuff. Um, so I did get a few new pieces this year. I picked up that round circle um, black tray and then the towels and the pumpkin candle that's gonna be going to the foyer. Um, so that's all that I bought this year for fall and the rest is just stuff that I've accumulated over the years. So I find with decorating, it's a lot of trial and error. You're gonna try out different styles, you're gonna try out different textures, and you're just gonna see what works for your space. Um, so what I'm doing with this black tray, essentially I have these little faux plants and I'm gonna see how it works with different heights. Um, and then I'm also gonna add the little green, white, um, and speckled pumpkins. And I'm just gonna play around with it, see what works best. Um, but I know once falls over, I wanna look into getting those wooden garland like wooden bead garlands. I think it would look really cute wrapped around. Let me know what you guys think. When you feel like it's over And nothing else matters I know it feels so divided Pick yourself a burden And you better start walk, girl You guys, I am obsessed with these kitchen towels. I got them from HomeSense for $12.99. There's two of them in the pack and they're the cutest things. <laughs> Seriously obsessed. Um, but when I took it out, RJ immediately asked me if he could use it and I stared him down and I said, no. <laughs> They are for decoration for at least a week. I just want to enjoy the towel for a week. <laughs> Okay, you guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm sure, story time. <laughs> um, so basically the clip before my Instagram stories that I have in here is the last clip that I ended up filming. I went to go change the angle of my ring light and I actually tripped over the cord. Um, I banged up my arm pretty good on the guardian lock, but that is seriously the least of my worries. <laughs> um, but I ended up thinking right away, I was like, wow, like my toe really, really hurts. Like this is, this is intense. And I looked down and I was like, oh, my toe's broken. Like it is broken, broken. <laughs> and RJ was with Teo and he was putting him to sleep. So we had to wake up the kids, put them in the truck, drop me off, take them home, come get me again. Um, but at the hospital, they ended up giving me a ring block for freezing. They put the dislocation back into place. And yeah, because it's broken, the, the area that it's broken, I can't really get a cast, but I am taping it. So it is what it is. We're working with it. Just bear with me these next couple weeks, please. <laughs> You guys, <laughs> I was just filming a decorate for fall with me and I just broke my toe. <laughs> when I say I broke my toe, I mean I broke my toe. It's like, you know how it's like that? <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> and it hurts so freaking bad. I have a few choice words here, but. <laughs>
That is everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always being here and always showing your love. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you all here in a brand new video on Sunday. Bye.